Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with WooCurve, and I'm gonna show you a feature we have inside of Handsome Checkout that lets you add the option for your customer to choose variation and quantity directly on the checkout page. And I have one of our test checkout pages pulled up where we're just selling the hoodie with the zipper. So I've already got some information uh, loaded in to this checkout page. And if we go here and make sure I've got the latest version. Yeah, so uh, here is what the checkout page looks like now. And this kind of tracks back to the, uh, the information we have here. This is standard handsome checkout uh, options. Now, but this one right here is new, and this is what I want to show you. So variations and quantity. So if I enable this, uh, we'll take a look at some of the options we have. Uh, so you can give your, uh, your the section, this is going to add a new section to your checkout page. And if you're using one of the two step, the, the two step option, this is going to put it on the second step. Um, and you'll see that here in just a second. So uh, for the main title, I've just put, you know, bundle and save. You could obviously change that to whatever you want. I don't have anything in there for the, the actual title of the product. You know, I could put product in there. And then this is uh, the column for the price. This is all going to make sense once you see it. Um, and then this is the highlight inscription. And what that means is... Uh, here you can see I've already added the option to um, just add one, two, or three um, options for the hoodie with zipper. So um, if I select one, then that's then that keeps me at the same um, that basically keeps me at, at the, the same quantity that I'm checking out with as one. But if, if I want to double it, I would put two in there and it would update the price and everything. And I've I've got this where I've got it highlighted. Um, and then I've also got this uh, DEF, it stands for default. So I want this to be pre-selected by default. And um, if, uh, if somebody wants to change that, they can, but it'll be pre-selected by default. In our options here, I'm using the quantity, but I can also show variations if I had variations on this hoodie with the zipper, or I could show both in terms of um, quantity and variations by using a uh, dropdown. So I'm gonna stick with quantity, or quantity right now because I just wanna show you, show you this in action. So if we click update, uh, that's gonna save, and I'm gonna come over here and refresh this page. And then here you can see all of our options. So uh, there's my bundle and save title You've just got item and price listed. If I wanted to change that uh, to something else, I could. And then here is that highlighted text where it says most popular and it's pre-selected and this is highlighted. And you can see it's already set at 90, but if I decided I just wanted one, um, then I would click that and it updates automatically. So this is using the simple quantity and you can kind of see if we go back here, just where everything tracks back to it. Um, with uh, simple variations would be very similar. You're just choosing from variations instead of quantity. And then the drop down with quantity and variations, obviously it's a combination of both. But you, you have the ability to add as much, um, as many items as you want here. And you can actually, if, you, if I wanted to name this, um, you, know, you know, double your order and save, you know, I can go in and give it a custom name. I could give it a custom price if I wanted right here. And so just show you what that looks like. Yeah, so uh, here it's just got my double your order and save, and then it's also added the fourth one. So um, really, really cool feature, and it's it's going to help a lot of you get, uh, get even more uh, order value from your checkout page and allowing people to do this directly on the page. Now I mentioned earlier uh, about the two-step and I want to show you, uh, let's see here, if we go to uh, the two-step, and this is true for two-step or multi-product, um, either of those templates. So I'm going to go here and refresh. So here we are, and then if we go to the next step, uh, then this is it, then adding in this section here and uh, it has all the elements we just discussed. And if I wanted to change that, I could, or if I wanted to keep it. And then what you'll see is we'll go to next and then we'll enter in our payment information 
and it's got our quantity updated right there. So uh, really excited to get this out to everyone. This is part of the latest release we have with Handsome Checkout, and I uh, look forward to helping you grow your business. And if you have any questions at all, just reach out to us at support at woocurve.com. All right, thanks.